boys, how you doing? Another beautiful day here at Gorston and we're at the river. Um, but it's gonna be different today. I'm gonna to be trying two things I've never tried before. First of all, sorry if there's any wind. There actually isn't really any wind. It's very, very slight, but I forgot my bloody sock. Can't believe that. I had to forget something, right? Um, but I've got the main ingredients here. So if there is any wind noise, I'm sorry. Not all I can do about it now. Um, okay, so I am going to be trying the float today. Um, as calm as everything in this river. It really is lovely. But I'm not using one of my beach rods. I'm using my pride and joy possession in my fishing gear, which is my carp rod. Now this, is a Sonic Vader X RS with a, a, a Vader X 8000 reel. Um, I bought this about a year and a half ago. Uh, it took me months to save up for it. Uh, it's the nicest thing I've ever had. I've used it about five times. Um, a lot of people don't like Sonic. Uh, that's not the high end. I think this combo cost me about £137, um, which was a lot of money to me. I've never spent that much. And uh, I love it. The reel is like silk. Um, the rod is lightweight. Um, so I thought that'd be good to try with the float. As you know, I tried my feeder rod on the Yarmouth River and uh, the line let me down. This has got £24 line on, so we should be good. Um, and also, we're going to try a bit of spinning today. So I'm going to set that up on the float down there, up against the rod rest, or tripod. Uh, if I can't see the float, I'll just look at the end of the rod. But a friend of mine has lent me this ultra lightweight seven foot spinning rod. Uh, he, he, I think he said he bought two, uh, he bought one, sorry, and they sent him two. So this, this is brand new, never been used. That's a Daiwa D-Shock. I think they're on Amazon for about 38 quid. That is really light, kind of cute. Um, so we're going to do a bit of spinning, which I've never done. Um, so I've got some like, rubber lures here and um, a few bits and pieces my, my friend Scott gave me. Um, some little tracers with clips on so I can change the lures. So I thought we'd come down and have a bit of fun today. Um, I don't know how this is gonna react if I catch a bass on this. Uh, it's got some bend in it. I mean, that is gonna go in half if I catch a decent bass. Well, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun or we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> one of the two so uh, yeah so I've just got some squid um, which I'll put on the the hook with the um, float uh, which I've got to sit here and work out because there is a sort of diagram but I'll figure it out so we'll get that set up we'll get the uh, lures on um, I also brought I also brought with me again uh, it was in a box of goodies from East Coast some like jigging leery things So I thought if the if the lures don't work, we'll strap some of these on and do the old Happy Downy mission. Gorgeous day again. Uh, I've brought my sun cream. Um, check how brown I am from Sunday. Except the back of my neck, that is black. Looks like I ain't washed it in about three months um 
And my arms and the rest of me is milky white. Look like a panda. But anyway, I'm gonna get set up. And uh, at the minute, I'm the only one here. But it is midweek, right? So it's gorgeous. Let's get going. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing here. Right, going to this, put a bead on. What's the rubber band for? Above this bead, huh? I'll come to that in a minute. Then the float. Got ball from the Civil War. That's heavy. Another bead. To the swivel. Tortoise hook on the swivel. Come on, I'm not finger some thumbs here. My eyes are out of whack. Bit worried about that. The hook comes with this length of line. They don't feel very strong at all. I bet that ends up snapping. Right. Foot beads, floats, weight, hook. So what's this rubber band? Oh. Ah, is that a stop? How'd you turn it on? I don't get it. Do you know what? Have I got in here? Oh, please tell me I've got one. Yes. Ha! Bull lead shot. I don't know how to tie, I don't know how to tie this thing on. So we're going with a lead shot. Sussed. Get some squid on it.
I'm just going to drop it down here. I took the drag right off, so if something does take it. Coolio. Get Wally out of the way. What are we doing? Oh, we're waiting for that. See what this bad boy's got to do. I have brought a two work flapper with me. In case the float has no joy, I can just put it down there as normal. I'm dying to catch a bass on a lighter tackle, my, my fresh water gear. I mean, that, well, that one I had on my feeder rod just felt ace. Success, it only took me 10 minutes. Right. I'll spin you around now, so you can see me make an arse of myself.
tell you what, this looks ace as it's going through the water. The little tail is flicking like that. Hey, it's like a little tiny fish. That's awesome. I love it. Tell you what, I don't know what it is, but when you spin, you do, you do feel more like the hunter. Do you know what I mean? So they're just putting it out there and waiting for the rod to bend. This is like stalking. Sort of. Right, so I'm going to continue to do this for a while and I'll bring you back uh, if I hook into anything. I've been spinning for about three quarters an hour, nothing. Um, I might change the lure, but I'm going to continue with that one for a little while because I do like the way that, that comes through the water. Um, I've had absolutely nothing on the float, but then I just reeled it in and the hook is nothing on it. So, uh, all right, buddy. So, uh, I'm going to rebate it out, put it back down. See how that go. I might change that to a turret flapper, but we'll continue for now. Well, I've just spent the last 20 minutes trying to untangle this line. This 24 pound line is too heavy for the size of this rail. And when I cast out all kind of springs and I had a right tangle. I've sorted it out, but uh, I've had two bites on the float though. But when I've got there, um, nothing. Uh, I have had a couple of good pulls. Uh, I lengthened it a bit. I'm still using the same, uh, same lure. The arm's starting to ache a bit now. I'm not used to this. I'm used to just sitting down looking at it. But yeah, we'll keep at it. It's good fun. Gorgeous day. I think I'm going to catch something today. I don't know what. I don't know if it'll be a bass, but I'll catch something.
so I'll bring it back. Right. And changing lures. Because he didn't give me nothing. I'm going to try this bad boy. See what he does. It's a bit heavier. That last one was seven grams. I don't know what this is. I don't say. It feels a little bit heavier. Can't help thinking. If something suddenly grabs this, I'm gonna crap myself. That's on this little rod. It's like a little kitty's rod. sink down a bit. Well, I've had no luck with the spinning whatsoever. And to be quite frank, I'm bored with it. So, I am going to put a small weight this because I still want to catch a fish on it because I think that'll be excellent sport. I mean, look at the way this bends. Um, so I'm going to put a small weight on it and uh, just leave it out there. I'll put it on the tripod. I'll get this set up, get some squid on there. I'll leave the float on for now. But I'll probably end up changing that as well. Yeah, cool.
old gorge on the little rod. Yes guys, yes, yes, that is my biggest bass to date, and on that little spinning rod, let me get a measurement, oh I can't, I ain't got my box here, right I'll tell you what, I'll measure it on my rod and I'll check it later. Okay guys, one last look, beautiful, chunky fish, excellent sport, I didn't think I was going to be able to lift that over. <laughs> and back he goes. Now that was fun. Holy! That little rod, I'll tell you what. Dire with D shock. I mean, that was bent double. Especially as I was trying to lift it up over the wall. But it handled it. What fun! That was brilliant. And that was a lovely bass. Nobody's been catching on this river today. That just got a, a 1 0 hook tied on the end of the line and then a little, like, uh, half ounce weight held on by a split shot. Bosh. Simple as. 40 quid rod and reel, bit of squid, and I just hooked into a big bass. That was awesome. I've never seen a bass that size, I'm sure there has been. I personally have never seen a bass that size from this river. Off the beach, yeah, but not from this river. Wow, that was awesome. Brilliant. Such good sport on light tackle. Uh, obviously, I was sitting there with the drag completely off because otherwise that would have pulled that rod in. And that was like a, a slight tug. I, I heard the the reel go first, and then, uh, wow, that's awesome. I retain my title <laughs> of the Bass Master.
Bretzky the Bassmaster. That is brilliant. I caught two bass on the beach yesterday. That little, little, little rod's going again. Just done another little tap. Right, I'm going to set you up, guys, in case I catch another one. Oh, I'm having a lovely day. Uh, apart from the weather being lush. Um, I've had three subscribers come up to me today, which is great. Uh, I've got a bite. I can't believe it. I've literally just put that little spinning rod about a rod length out. I keep getting little taps on both rods and then there's nothing. Um, I'll leave it. I've got the drag off, so if I start going. Oh, that's bouncing. suddenly shoot off you know what <laughs> uh, yeah uh, good to see you Paul and you and your good lady uh, was that three times now in a week I've seen you stalkers um, no great to see you uh, another gentleman that is going another gentleman uh, I believe was his wife uh, who watched last night's video they come up to say hello um, and somebody else, I can't remember, I, you know what, I always forget to ask names, I'm so pants. Anyway, lovely to meet you, wherever you are. Um, I ain't got a clue what the time is. I'll tell you in a minute. Hey, right, let me check now. It's two o'clock. Uh, low tide was half eleven, so now we're fishing up. Uh... It's funny, I, uh, here I go again, come on, are you going to take it or not? Um, people say, you know, is it best up tide, you know, to high tide or down, and I ain't got a clue, because every time I've been here, I've fished at low tide, up, at high tide, down, and it doesn't, I haven't seen any difference. You either catch or you don't. Because I've caught on both. Um, so I don't know. So if you are a subscriber and you come up to me and ask me any questions, I wouldn't expect an intelligent answer, will you? Because <laughs> I, I really don't know. I just enjoy my fishing. Especially on this light tackle. I prefer, I mean, I know it's, I've always done fresh water, so I'm used to these rods, but when you've got little hands, right, and beach rods are so chunky and long, and, and, and they, just, they just feel uncomfortable to me. I need a fishing rod, a beach rod, that's like my carp rod. Maybe there is one out there, I don't know. Um, but I just find these easier to cast, to handle, I can't believe that bass. That is my PB out of this river. My heart was pumping. I was praying it weren't going to come off. Did you see me clamber the wall? As I started to reel it in, it, on the other side of this, this wall, there's like planks of wood, old and rotten. And the line had got caught in a little crack. But well, yeah, I am not losing you. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have a well-deserved coffee.
Now my other rod's going. Maybe I ain't having a coffee. Is that the tide though? Let me tighten that up. I'm pants, aren't I? What, what kind of representative am I? Well, it's going to be quiet now, guys. Uh, nothing really. I think I had a, a, a little tap on the on the carp rod, but uh, nothing other than that. By the way, I'm not trying to be Justin Bieber. I'm trying to keep the sun off the back of my neck because I'm starting to burn, even with the sun cream on. But, uh, I don't know if it's a bite or if it's the weight settling. Uh, it's not a bite. Or is it? <laughs> you know, that tide's coming in quite strong now. So both both weights are going that way. We'll see how it goes. Oh, nope. false alarm. Um, one thing I want to quickly say. Uh, I was thinking about it last night. Um, not to send any of you straight to the vomit bag, but. I um I couldn't help thinking last night, you know I mean I've been single for a year and a half now. You know when you're married or you're with someone, you have a good day, you do something or some little achievement or a personal best or something you do at work, whatever. You can't wait to get home and share it with your loved one, right? And it's been hard for a year and a half because when you can't do that. And I think that's why I'm enjoying doing this channel so much because I get to share it with you guys. Uh, and know when I share it with you and I get a response from it with comments, because there's some lovely comments, that kind of takes a little bit of the sting out of the loneliness, do you know what I mean? Um, and I mean that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And all the comments, and the thumbs up, and advice, and everything. It was a bit deep, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so back to seriousness, or back to business, should I say? I'm gonna have a coffee. I think I've got one left, and uh, keep an eye on these rods for the last. 40 minutes to an hour. Oh. Oh, that little one just had a major tap. Go again. I'd like to catch another one on that little spinner rod. There is, there is, hang on. Okay. That's both rods cast out now for the last one. Last coffee. Last chance saloon. What an enjoyable day again, so peaceful. Apart from a few people coming to talk to me, which is always nice. Been no other anglers, but I had to keep it myself. And a delicious bass. <laughs>
Bass Pro. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on these rods. And uh, I'll either see you in a minute with a goodbye or with a fish. Be there or be square, as they say. Well, I did when I was about 10. Alright, time to reel the big one in. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Uh, I did say goodbye while I was at the river, but somehow I've lost that footage. Uh, what can I say? Only one fish, but one hell of a fish. I am so pleased with today's uh, productivity. And, uh, yeah, I'll remember that fish for a while. It made up for that one I lost on the arm of Key uh, a few days ago. So, uh, very pleased. Thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines, calm minds, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.